Hello all! So last week I went around the West End with my friend Caroline Sheen and we talked a lot about theatre, about our memories. So this is the first part of a series of maybe two or three or maybe even four. So I hope you enjoy it and please welcome Caroline Sheen! We are outside the stage door of the Criterion Theatre. Do you know, I remember you that day. Do you? Because it was my birthday, February oh. the 12th, oh my God. 1997. It was. We did our agent showcase here from um, GSA, where we both trained. We're actually in the middle of our third year. We came up here and performed songs. Songs from the 60s, for some reason. Do you remember? Except I didn't sing the song from the 60s. Funny. I did a song called... Oh my god, what was it called? It was from a, a plot called Nick and Nora. The bus drops off here and we all piled out and walked down here and into there. Let's just show them the stage. So like a long corridor. So we performed here 18 years ago and then we had to go out and then afterwards you had to go out and meet all the agents. We had to go in bar. into a cattle market basically and we all had name tags on. We had to go and, and, and mingle with the agents. I didn't get much attention but I got my first agent was interested in me all the day. Our first agent? Yeah, Paul Spiker. Yeah, Paul Spiker, and lovely Paul Spiker. Um, so that was alright, you know. Yeah. But yeah, it's hard. Um, I mean, that, was, that was the worst thing. Very, very much younger. As a teenager, I used to beg my parents to take me up to London any way they could to see shows, which is a big thing um, for me from Wales. And right here is Angel's Studios. We have a little bit further down here and see the most amazing theatre with the most wonderful show in my mind at that time. And I would walk down here and cry as soon as I saw <laughs> hold the seat in front of the row because even before the show started I was crying. <laughs> wow, I, I didn't know that. I love, love. I mean, love I love Les Mis as well. Yeah, I, was, I had the jumper, the t-shirt, the poster, and you <laughs> may not know this, it's little known fact that there used to be a Les Mis watch that I had. <laughs> what was it like? Was it was like the little face of Cosetta. <laughs> okay. What, with her arms going around? <laughs> no. <laughs> So something that was really quite um, sad when I was working here on Mamma Mia was that there was um, a bomb just down there inside a pub called the Admiral Duncan. It was a nail bomb. We were in the theatre waiting to go down to warm up and we were all summoned and told pretty soon we're all going to be hearing that there's a bomb that's just gone off down the road. When one of the guys in the cast had walked past it just after it happened and we were all moved out of here down to the um, this Wales we had to go to to be counted and all that kind of thing. So three people killed, two of whom I think were a newly engaged couple who were actually on their way to see Mamma Mia. And I was um, <laughs> rehearsing for Les Mis at the time. I really remember it happening. I remember thinking what it must have been like for everyone in the West End. Yeah, it was horrible. Okay, so I brought Matt to the place that I remember really clearly something really nice happened here. We're in Leicester Square. Right in the middle there's a lovely statue of um, Oh, Dickie. No, not Dickie. <laughs> Willie Shakespeare. I don't know if Matt remembers what happened here, so I think we should ask him. Many moons ago, what happened on this spot right here? I have a feeling it's about a job. But I yes. can't remember. I know it's not when I know it's not when I found out about Les Mis because I found out about that on a train going home. Yeah. But here is where you told me you got it. Uh, ah! So I was you gonna, do, it's really right. funny because Caroline said as we were coming up, she said it's in this spot here. And as soon as you said that, I was kind of like, oh, that makes it's, I told her about a job. And I would not have thought about that at all if I'd walked through here it's on like my own. And I think I sit here and yet again. Time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because at the time I was working here, which has been knocked down, that, that was Ticketmaster. Right. And, I, and I was working, so that's probably why we were here, because I was going into work, probably to tell them that I was leaving. It feels like I've got it again. Yeah, yeah well done. Don't cry. Yeah. 
Why, why are you looking so sad, Caroline? <laughs> Like, this was my spiritual home. He used to be called Dresser. What happened to Dresser? Cool. Uh, I used to live in there. It was a musical theatre shop and they had CDs and, and music and posters and all sorts. If you went in there, you could pretty much guarantee I was in, <laughs> I was in there. I think I booked into you there quite a few times. And then it closed. It's online, I think, isn't it? It's still an online shop. I'll put yeah. a link below. Yeah. But um, yeah, and now it's a, now it's got clothes. Yeah. That's not very showbiz, is it? <laughs> I miss you. So we're here at the Stockpot, and the reason we come to the Stockpot is because this is the kind of place where you would go for dinner yeah, in between shows. Nice cheap dinner, and I remember when I was a kid. My friend had a senior teacher who was in Les Mis and he knew, he'd found out that West End people go to the stockpot to eat. And so, of course, I begged my parents to take them to the stockpot. It's like going to school canteen. It's really nice. Good food, slowly yeah, food. Right. It fills you up. Really quick. That was really one of the things. So you didn't have really very much time. Yeah. Like when I was first in Les Mis, the in between shows you didn't know, you had like an hour because the show was so long. Before it was all. Before it was cut yeah. down. Yeah. So you kind of had to get something quickly, so it meant bringing something in or going to the stock box. And I didn't bring anything in ever because I can't cook. <laughs> and I didn't because I'm too lazy. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Goodbye! So when I was younger, you want me to look right down the lanes? When I was younger,